Hey, YouTube. Um, I'm watching this documentary. I'll put a link um, in the description of this video, but it's called Death by Medicine. Um, and anyway, it's an interesting documentary, but um, it made me think I should talk about this because um, I've been, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in um, 2001. And um, at that time, you know, I started taking medicines um, and, you know, I went through like a bunch of different types of medicine. I tried like a bunch of vitamins. I mean, at that time, I was just getting so much information. Like I did, I took whatever the doctors told me to take. Um, some of the stuff was for my bladder. Some of the stuff was for my spasms. Like I'm pretty sure I got on baclofen then. Um, that's the one I think I've been on the longest, but um, yeah. And then they put me on antidepressants because you know, one of the side effects of MS is supposed to be depression or whatever. And, um, they, you know, I just basically got on a bunch of drugs, um, legal drugs, but on a bunch of legal drugs. Um, and then, so that was 2001. And now it is, what, 2018, almost. Um, so how many years is that? 17 years. Okay, so for the past 17 years, I've been um, just taking tons of pills. I take like a handful of pills in the morning, a handful of pills at night. Um, over the years, the medications I am on has have changed like I've tried so many different antidepressants um all of them have like good things and bad things um and you know most recently I'm still actually like I'm still actually taking Cymbalta but I most recently tried to get off that because I noticed that my attitude and I was getting incredibly apathetic, which is the same thing that the benzos did to me. So I've learned the hard way with several medications. For one, like I used to be on benzos every day. Um, benzodiazepine is what I'm talking about. Um, there, it comes in different forms. It's like Xanax and um, Valium, stuff like that, I think. Those are the benzos, and um, anyway, I was taking it every day for a while, and I got really apathetic. I just didn't care about anything. Didn't care about the laundry, cooking, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm like, yeah, not so much. Um, but, like, that was a problem. I had kids. I had young kids. I need to, to pay attention to stuff like that and to think about it. And um, so, anyway, and then... Like, I eventually realized that that medication was changing my personality. It was making me just apathetic, and, um, which is okay when you're there. Like, you don't care if you're apathetic. And why do I care if I don't care? Um, but it's not, it's not exactly... Um, it's, it's not the way you want to live your life. So, um, anyway, I got off those. Now, I still have prescriptions for, like, I still have benzos that I take occasionally, very, very occasionally. If uh, my mind sometimes gets on, like, loops where, you know, I'm really stressed out or like discouraged or something about something and um, sometimes I will take a benzo but I break it in half and then I take a very small quantity because um, I don't want to become dependent. Getting off of them sucks and um, so 
I don't want to become dependent on anything. But another thing that, okay, so Ambien, yeah, took that. It's great. It helps sleep. Still have a prescription for that. Still take it occasionally. In fact, I took half of one tonight because I need to go to sleep um, pretty quick here. And anyway, so um, Ambien, I used to take every night too. And then I made a cell phone video of my kids doing funny stuff in the bathroom. And I couldn't remember it happening at all. I was like, what? Who made this video? Who had my phone? Like, what? And it was me, and then I realized that's my voice in the background. Or whatever. Because I was so far out of it. And they say with Ambien, you're supposed to just take it take it when you're laying in bed or whatever. Like, you're not supposed to get up and do stuff after you take it. But I didn't like that. And then, so I tried to get off that um but it really you get really dependent on it that's the biggest problem with sleeping aids um if you take them every night then you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a long process to um to learn how to put yourself to sleep um and you know a lot of nights I can't sleep, but I won't take an Ambien because, I don't know. Like, I can't take them every night, but I did take half a one tonight because I do have to sleep sometimes. But anyway, it's, it's a slippery slope. And then, okay, so there's a million different antidepressants, and they all have different side effects. I've been on so many of those, and then... Now, I'm on Cymbalta, and it's, it's okay, but, man, I don't want to increase the dosage on it at, at all. Um, I don't, uh, like, I won't increase the dosage, because, the, I, like, I tried to actually, I, I did wean myself off this drug, because I noticed it was doing the same thing the Benzos do, just making me apathetic and stuff, um, and... I don't want that, um, and so anyway, like, I weaned myself off of it, but then, like, I do have MS, and I do have, I don't know, I have been depressed for, like, a long time, and, um, so I, I went back on Cymbalta, I'm just keeping it at the lowest dose, um, but, like, this documentary, this death by medicine thing, you guys have to watch it if you're interested in this topic at all. Just, like, seriously, our society sets us up. <laughs> and I am victim, and, you know, it's not really victim, it's a willing victim, I guess. It's, you know, they dangle candy in the form of pills that solve your problems, they dangle it out, and then all of us who run along and take the candy, like, I do, I, I know there are important drugs out there, and I, I need the ones I'm on, maybe, I don't know exactly how much, but I've tried to get off everything that, um, I think I can, the stuff I'm on now is, um, for my bladder and for my spasms and for, um, the, uh, yeah, symbols of the depression. Um, but anyway, and I take a vitamin D because that's the one that, you know, most people who have MS are low on vitamin D, so... If you're a kid out there, take vitamin D. If you're a parent, too. If you're, or just take vitamin D, people. We don't get enough sunshine anyway. Um, but, anyway, like, I don't know. I don't know what I was getting on about, but, um, but medicine. Like, yeah, this might be ambient, too. This might be, like, making me lose my train of thought. Like, okay, feels like the sleepy part is kicking in, but, um, 
you know, I'm okay because I'm in bed. So, I'm trying this, um, this lotion that, that my nurse ordered for me is, um, it's Skin Repair Cream Remedy Cream. Medline Everyday Moisturizer Nourishes and Conditions Dry Cracked Skin Non Allergenic Non Sensitizing So it doesn't say